Hello again, everyone. I'm here today to show you my current week's setup and the new weeks that I have purchased for 2021. And this is another Hobonichi product that I purchased along with the new weeks that I got, both from Jet Pens. Um, I'm gonna put these off to the side and I will show those to you towards the end. But first I'm gonna show you the uh, my week's setup and what I've been using it for. Uh, one caveat is that uh, I, my use of this sort of dropped out, or dropped off rather, um, when, when COVID hit. So it's sort of been, you know, off and on since then, and uh, I'm, but I'm hoping to get back into it because it has been really useful in this particular setup. So first I'll tell you what type of traveler's notebook this is. So this is a week's size traveler's notebook from Chic Sparrow in the Penelope leather. So this was the Odyssey version of uh, the Burgundy, Burgundy Darcy. None of these are available anymore. I purchased this one on a buy sell trade group and it came with these ink marks here. Uh, the Odyssey line had the option to add ink splatters and they no longer do that. I think part of the reason is they did not want to be producing individualized TNs. So um, so this is one that is not available anymore, but I absolutely love it. Um, the only thing that I've had a problem with, and again, this may not be an issue for you at all if you cannot find an Odyssey with ink, is that when I stacked another notebook, I think it was actually one of my buttered rums. I, I stacked one of my buttered rums on top of this because at the time I was using this as my uh, weekly planner and then I was using a B6 Slim buttered rum as my bullet journal. And I went on vacation and stacked them. And when I got back, some of the ink had come off onto the buttered rum. So onto the back of it. And I think it was fairly warm and we didn't have the air AC or what, you know, the temperature regulated in our house while we were gone for two weeks. So it, uh, just beware of that. But again, it may never be an issue for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get in here. And this is fairly minimal. Um, uh, yeah, so the Cheeks Bureau still, still sells the week's size traveler's notebooks. And it always comes in this configuration. Well, unless you get it second chance, in which case you may be able to get a classic without the pockets here. So it comes with two folio style pockets, essentially. And you could either slip the weeks into these pockets. In fact, you could put two in here that way. You could um, put one in the back cover on this side and then one in the front cover on this side, and you could have two if that's your preference. Um, so for this one, I have a pink 2020 weeks uh, I just got a fairly plain one, and then I got this cover, which was one of the Hobonichi covers from last year, to put over it. And then I have it uh, in the middle string here. So this notebook only has, it has one string essentially, but it has a shorter string that you could also potentially put something on. And it does not come with a pen loop, the notebook does not come with a pen loop, so I have used the pen loop in this cover as my pen loop. And then I also have this little um, page holder here in the back, which I'm, I use to save my place sometimes, although I find that I usually use the bookmarks more than anything else. Um, in the front here, I have some places that I order from, like this Sweet Jane's is a uh, bakery that's here in Denver that now they're, they're delivering, which is really, really nice. Uh, really, really nice, but not so nice for my waistline. But um, it's been really nice to still be able to get them. Normally they would only supply their baked goods at farmer's markets and um, now I can get that delivered. So I put the, her business card here. And then I had some recipe from uh, a friend's mother about the perfect apple pie, so I put that in here. Um, but basically what I'm using this for is recipes, keeping track of what recipes we are going to be eating every day. Um, and then I do my grocery list on this side. So we'll plan out the menu, um, and uh, I'll tell you why we've kind of changed this a little bit. But So we have a ton of cookbooks, so usually we will um, go through cookbooks and see what's in season for this time of year, and pick recipes, and then uh, put them on days of the week, and then make our grocery list while we're doing that from the recipes, anything that we would need. 
So um, one of the problems that I have had, so I, I think the majority of you are aware that I used to live in San Francisco and I relocated to Denver, Colorado for work. And we used to have no problem at all getting fresh produce, although, you know, who knows now with fires and weather and all that kind of stuff, whether that's an issue now. But we had no problems getting fresh produce and it was very seasonal fresh produce. And here in Colorado, the climate is just not conducive to having as much fresh produce. Um, I mean, it's certainly gotten better over the years, I think. Uh, we, we started this year, started a very small garden in our yard so that we could see what we could actually grow ourselves. Um, basically the long and short of that is tomatoes took off and everything kind of died. <laughs> So we can grow tomatoes. <laughs> um, we had a few potatoes. We had, uh, we actually grew black eyed peas. So we had a few black eyed peas um, and, and things like that. So, you know, part of the reason why we stopped doing this during when COVID hit is because we could not get a lot of things that we normally could get because supply chains were having issues, especially with produce. And uh, we actually switched over to getting a blue apron every week uh, so that we just so that we could have some more variety in our diet because we would, the local stores were just not carrying the things that they normally carried. Um, and it was really hard to get things and we couldn't really plan because we didn't know what they would have at the store. Um, but I think we need to go back to this because I think the supply chains have gotten a little bit better Um but we still have not gone back to this entirely. For a while, I tried doing it where it was just, um, you know, blue apron, blue apron, blue apron, because we have we get three for a week, and then come up with recipes for the rest of the week, and then you know that's the way it was. And as you can see, back in February, we would have a we would go to a restaurant once a week, which um, we have not gone to a restaurant since March. So. Um, and I, I just don't feel comfortable going to a restaurant. I think it's a risk that I don't have to take, for one, because we can get most things from most restaurants delivered. I mean, their menu might be a little different, but um, we can still do the once a week restaurant, but we have it delivered, essentially. Um, so I do want to keep this up more in 2020, or 2021, I mean. But, uh, so the note pages in the back, I never really used that much, um, or, or at all, <laughs> which, which makes it kind of silly, the new thing that I got. Um, and what you, what you may notice is that, uh, most of these recipes tend to skew vegetarian. Uh, and that's probably true for, for most, for most things. Um. But I grew up vegetarian. Uh, now I eat fish and poultry, but um, but I still, I mean, I still kind of stick with um, vegetarian mostly. Um, and part of that's for health reasons too. But anyway, so so not using the note pages makes it strange that I got what I got. <laughs> So I got a Mega Weeks for this year, and I will open it up and show you. Uh, so I bought this off of Jet Pens. Oh, sorry. There's going to be some some ripping. So I bought this off of Jet Pens, and um, I I usually don't order from Hobonichi. There was one year that I did order directly from Hobonichi, but um, but I generally don't, just because the shipping is so high. And then this year, I mean, the shipping is probably crazy ridiculous. Um, and I find that, you know, I can get it from Jet Pens with free shipping and uh, the prices are reasonable and it, it makes it more reasonable to get one of these. And I got both of these at Jet Pens. I'll actually show you this first before I get into the Mega Weeks and what makes it mega for those of you that don't know. Uh, let's see. And I was a little late to the game on Jet Pens. This year, I just was not that excited about planners. Um, I did pre-order my uh, usual uh, Jabun Techo uh, in the B6 Slim. I went ahead and pre-ordered one of those, so I'm still going to be using that as my uh, daily and weekly planner for 2021. Um, I did try at the beginning of, was it 2021? It might have been 2019 that I tried using a week's as my weekly planner. And I actually quite liked the format. 
Um, I just wanted everything in one notebook and I really didn't like how the weeks fit in a B6 Slim. The weeks will fit in a B6 Slim though, so I, I don't want to discourage you. Uh, the problem was I had all this space width-wise and I didn't really, I didn't really want to deal with that. So, um, so I moved out of the weeks and then, um, yeah, and then I must have done, I must have tried the Jibun Techo at the beginning of 2020 and then I've, I've liked it and, and it was a little bit hard to go from, um, vertical like these to, well, no wait, to go from horizontal to vertical like the Jibun Techo is. And I'll actually get out my Jibun Techo and show you the differences between these two here in a minute. I'm actually going to close this one up and put it aside. So I got this again uh, with the hope of doing it as a recipe journal, using it as a recipe journal yet again. The Mega Weeks, the difference between the regular weeks and the Mega Weeks, and this is actually also a sneaker weeks, which I'll tell you what that means here in a minute. Um, so the Mega Weeks has more uh, dot grid pages in the back. Oh, and it always comes with this little guy. So this um, can be glued either in the front. Well, I, th I think it's meant to go in the back. And then you can put in, or stuck because it has a sticky, and then you can put in this little um, page holder, which, so you can put that there, and then the page holder, oh my goodness, goes back here into this little thing and then the elastic goes over the top and then you can mark your place like that. That's how it ends up working. So I will keep that with this because I probably will use that because I don't plan to buy a cover for this one this year. So mega means it has, I'm not sure if it's twice as many pages in the back, it might even be more than that. Um, and then sneaker means that it is soft cover and it it is a little bit smaller in size. So I'm gonna get my old weeks out here and show you the size difference. So this has a plastic cover, so that's gonna be a little deceptive, but here I'm lining it up to the bottom of the actual book um, and to the binding there. So you'll see that it's a little bit uh, more narrow side to side and a little bit uh, shorter top to bottom. So uh, this would actually fit really well in a personal size, the new personal size from Chic Sparrow. It would also fit in a B6 Slim, <laughs> um, and I think I will actually try that. This is my current setup here in my Buttered Rum Cascade. Let me show you. Oh, part of the reason why I wanted to get this out was to show you the Jaboon Techo format as opposed to the, I'm just making sure there's no sensitive things on any of these pages compared to the um, Hobonichi weeks. So for the months, the months are very similar, but um, but they're just pretty much plain in the Hobonichi. You, you just have the dates and no real commentary or anything already uh, baked in. There is still a place where you could do bullet items also down here on the bottom. Um, here it's on the side in the Jibun Techo. The other addition in the Jibun Techo is you can have uh, your mood uh, documented here in the um, in this in these little happy face, straight face, sad face things that that is not available here. I'm going to go to a week page and actually let me go ahead and find a page that I can show you in here that does not have personal information. I'll probably go to one towards the end that I have not really used yet. Doo, doo, doo. Boy, I've added a lot to my calendar, even towards the end of the year. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Jeez, I really did add a lot all the way to the end of the year. Okay, <laughs> so let me let me show you this one, which is blank for January uh, 2021. This goes all the way up to January at the end. But So I'm going to show you that compared to the individual weeks pages here. So first off, I mean, there's a big difference in that you have this whole page of grid over here, which you don't have. 
the biggest difference is vertical versus horizontal. Um, like I was saying, it took me a long time to sort of adapt to the uh, vertical format. Now I actually prefer it because I can add more detail for each and I can just see at a glance when I have appointments uh, based on the time listed here. <laughs> the other thing in the Jaboon Techo that took me a little bit while, a little while to get used to is the 24 hour format in here. So it's basically like military time that we use here. Um, and you have a bunch of additional things in the Jaboon Techo, which I find very handy for weekly planning. Like there's a little indicator for the weather. There's an extra little spot here. So essentially this is like your blank page <laughs> for um, here you have a whole blank page, but here you have these little boxes. You have the mood indicator as well. And then there's a place where you can put uh, your meals as well. And I have been using all of those little boxes. For these boxes, I've been using them to track shipments. Like this is what I'm expecting to receive today. And that's worked really well. Um, there is not a little checklist spot in the Hobonichi Weeks, whereas there is in the Hobonichi or the um, Jaboon Techo, but you could make one here on the left-hand side. I think that um, one, of the th one of the reasons why I decided to stay with the Jaboon Techo is it has all of the things that I want to document and I don't have to add them myself. Like I don't have to add things about the weather, which I was doing when I had a Hobonichi Weeks and was using it that way. Um, and I, for a while I was indicating mood and then you have to, you know, I was using a little stencil for that. But this, you just circle one and you're done. You circle one and you're done for the weather and you write the weather. I kind of like that it has everything that I want to document already here as a template. Um, and here, here it gives you more freedom because if you don't want to list any of those things, you know, you can put whatever you want in here, which is why it works well for things like recipe planning or tracking. So, um, and, and I really do like the recipe per day and then I will put the name of the cookbook, the page number that it's on. And then, like I said, I use this uh, right hand side for developing a grocery list for every week. And I really do want to go back to that this this year or next year because um, I think it's healthier. <laughs> we tend to like order out more often if I'm not planning out our menu um, because no one wants to cook or whatever. And um, it's just really nice and easy. Okay, so I'm gonna take out this Jaboon Techo here and then I am going to put in this sneaker weeks and I'll show you how it fits in here. So, so the sneaker weeks, one of my, one of my um, issues was that the regular weeks really went to the top, like it was completely flush with top and bottom. So the Chic Sparrow personal size is the same uh, height as the B6 Slim. So, um, and it is narrower, so meaning it would be a better fit for your Hobonichi. And so when I was fitting it in here, and this is a little thicker than the one I was using, um, it certainly fits. Like I would say this fits about the same, the, the sneaker weeks fits about the same as the Jaboon Techo uh, height wise, top to bottom, but there is this gap here and that was kind of bothering me and some of my uh, notebooks were kind of curving in over here and I just wasn't liking that. I kind of wanted all of my notebooks to line up and be the same size, which is why I um, switched to the Jaboon Techo. And you could, I suppose, let's see, no, it will, well, I mean, if you really, maybe if you cut off some of the, it might just barely fit, but I'm not gonna try because I might tear my cover, which I've done before. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that with that one. Let me put this back in here. My Jaboon Techo, because I really like how the Jaboon Techo goes right up to the edges. And just visually for me, I prefer, I prefer this look. And by the way, really loving this buttered rum cascade. Um, I, <laughs> I moved into it and I, I moved this little, uh, charm here as well. And it just went so much better with this one than the Americano. So I'll probably move back into the Americano at some point. Cause I do change it out a lot, but 
So anyway, that is the description of the Hobonichi Weeks and what, what makes Mega versus Sneaker versus Regular a little different. I actually was looking for um, the flower cover. I, I didn't intend to get the Mega, um, but the flower cover was already sold out on Jet Pens and in the past, I'd kind of wanted to try out the Mega Sneaker Weeks just size-wise so that I could see how it fit in different notebooks. And I'm still gonna do that. I'm still gonna see how it fits, but um, it obviously will fit in the um, the weeks. I probably will put this one in the back, or although since it's very simple and doesn't really have a design, I might put it in the front cover and then I can put that little uh, page holder thing in the back. Um, oh, well, there you go. That's a big difference. So, <laughs> so the bound weeks, which this one is, has two bookmarks and the sneaker weeks has no bookmarks. So I did not know that about that difference. That actually, um, I, I love the bookmarks because that tells me, you know, where I am, <laughs> but that might encourage me to use this little guy and then the bookmark. Um, thing to hold my page so so that is a big difference that I was not aware of but um, so if you put that in there so it's got a little more room top and bottom and side to side but it's still a pretty good fit with the um, standard weeks cover there um, all right and now I will talk about some things that came with it so this I don't know what it is um, these I think are little bookmarks Let's see, these, yeah, I'm not quite sure. So it looks like, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So one end is a little sticky. Yeah, so I think they're essentially like sticky bookmarks that you're supposed to put in there. Sorry about that, it just blew up. Um, and then they always include this little sort of like a comic with your weeks. Um, I, I generally don't look at it too much, but, um, and then they also show like some of the other styles that they have available. I'm not gonna open that whole thing because you won't be able to see it anyway. I'm gonna put that off to the side. And then I got these little A6 size folders here, which are just, you know, they're just like little uh, open on two side folders. So I could definitely, could definitely put some stuff in there. And then my, my plan was to store those things in my regular B6 Slim because since it's A6, it will fit in there. Um, it's not an exact fit, but I wanted it to be a little smaller. So I thought those, those were pretty useful. Um, they came in these really cute designs, which I liked. Um, there's the other side. But yeah, so these are cute. And I got those also at Jet Pens. I'll put a link to both of these. The Hobonichi Weeks and, and the variety of Hobonichi products usually sell out pretty quick on jet pens, but they do usually restock a couple of times. Um, and if for some reason you miss out on the January start notebooks, they do have a spring start uh, Hobonichi Weeks. So there's always that option. In fact, this might be a spring start. Let's see, when did it start? Uh, what is the beginning? Yes. Yeah, this, this was, oh no, 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 it started January. Um, so I think the spring start starts in March. Yeah, this was a January start, but they, they do have a spring start, which you can get later in the year. All right, well, that's it for today. <laughs> Feel free to like and or subscribe. I hope this was helpful to you. I will see you next time, and until then, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.